Welcome back guys. Today we'll be learning about calculus of functions of several variables. So today we'll be learning about partial derivatives. So partial derivatives. So let z equals to f of x comma y be a function. Now as the name suggests we have to differentiate it or derive they use the derivative partially so the derivative of fx comma y with respect to x keeping y constant is known as the partial derivative of fx with respect to x so it is denoted by del fx and upon del x or f x x comma y or even simply f of x so this will be equals to limit h tending to 0 f of x plus h comma k sorry comma y minus f of x y upon h now similarly the derivative of f x y with respect to y keeping x constant so this will be known as the partial derivative of f x y with respect to x y so this will be del f del y or f of y x comma y or simply f of y so this will be limit k tending to 0 f of x y plus k upon k minus f of x comma y so these are the partial derivatives so this can be derived for many functions or more with more variables like x1 x2 x3 so to understand this let us see a simple example so example suppose we need to find the partial derivative of fxy equals to x3 by 2 e to the power y with respect to x at point 1 comma 2 so now we have to find this that is at 1 comma 2 so now let us write it as fx 1 comma 2 that will be del f upon del x 1 comma 2 so this we can write as limit h tending to 0 because it is done upon x so f of 1 plus h as it is 1 comma 2 minus f of 1 comma 2 upon h so limit h tending to 0 now we put this value here this will be 1 plus h whole to the power 3 by 2 into e to the power e square minus this will be 1 so it will be 1 and this will be only e square upon h now taking e square common this will limit h tending to 0 this will be z to uh, 1 plus h whole to the power 3 by 2 minus 1 upon h so now uh, we need to substitute it uh, suppose we will put z equals to 1 plus h so when h is tending to 0 we see that z is tending to 1 so that now it will look like something like this e square limit h ten, z tending to 1 z to the power 3 by 2 minus 1 to the power 3 by 2 upon z minus 1 so this will be e square 3 by 2 1 to the power 3 by 2 minus 1 so this will be 3 by 2 e square so this is the formula of limit so this is our answer 
so let us see another example so we need to find del f upon del y and del f upon del y at 1 comma 0 for the function f of x y equals to x cube y square plus e to power plus e into e to power x y square so here we need to find the partial derivative with respect to y so to do that we need to find this so del f this will be um, del of x cube y square plus e x y square we need to find this so this will be now separating it so here x will be taken as constant so x will come out and partial derivative of y square will be 2y and now see here e to the power, we will derivate this this will be as this e to the power mx now partial derivative of x y square that will be x will be constant and y square will be 2y so this is the answer 2x cube y uh, plus 2x e to the power x y square y now this at 1 comma 0 we just need to put the value so this is our one answer and this will be this will be 0 and this will also be 0 because here if you put 0 this will be 0 plus 0 and this will be 0 so if you had any problems comment below and if you did like my video hit the thumbs up button do share my video and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you